Welcome back, it's your grow buddy. Back for another update, it's been a while. Been posting all my content on Instagram and I have another YouTube channel that I that I show but it, it restricts all my content on there so trying to keep this one unrestricted. Uh, but join my other channel if you wanna see how things are going. So up here, first of all, we got the cucumbers. Uh, the, it's an experiment where I have one plant growing in the right one and two in the left. So I can see, you know, can it handle two cucumbers or one, you know, and it, will it dramatically change the yield? So I've been harvesting them. Right now we have a lot of new babies on here, so I'll be updating you on how all these new cucumbers are coming out. Harvested some full-size ones. The kids have been eating them, uh, so. Everything else out here is tomatoes, lots of varieties, so everything's different. This really, you know, tall one is completely different than this one. And the three clones that I took are these three right here. So these three are the original clones, and they've, they're have they well established. I can't even pull them up unless I, you know, untie them from everything. So they're fully, you know, up to the ceiling. You got lots of tomatoes coming in. Everything else, I I wanted to try a lot of different varieties of tomatoes. So each one of these up here are different varieties. Uh, the two over there in that corner over there. I'll show you what I bought. So we got like brandy, brandy wine, golden nugget, Ace 55, Roma, sweet cherry, golden jubilee, and the verde. So we have. This is how I started them. I first put them in solo cups. Got them all started like this. And then I put them into my net cups, and then I put them into a grow buddy. So, as you can see, these ones right here, they're all dry already. The whole net cup, everything is dry, and they're just feeding from the bottom. Well, these ones right here, these have just been put in not that long ago. So, they're almost established. They're going to start getting really, really dry on the cocoa. And, uh, and it's just going to be bottom feeding. So, it's up to you if you want to use cocoa or hydrogen or not. I've tried both ways, but I really like using the cocoa. It just makes it so much easier. So, like, there's the golden nugget. This is the aroma. And, oh, another golden nugget. Got the Ace 55 right here. As you can see, this is how they're looking. You know, so can't lift them up once they're really big and kind of like being supported you know you can't really I can kind of maybe show you a glimpse it's really hard to I don't know if you can see anything in there yeah it's it, you can't really pull the plant up much so that's how everything's going and it's uh, 600 parts per million, general hydroponics flora series. What I do is I, for right now, per gallon, we're mixing five mils of the grow, four mils of the micro, three mils of the bloom, and two mils of Calamag with RO water. And that puts me at 600 parts per million on all of these plants. I'm just kind of going low and slow and I, I just change it every week so I don't move up my nutrients as high as other people do. I keep my nutrients lower and I change out my nutrients every week. I just drain everything. So down here, I just drain this till it's empty and then I let it feed in the new nutrients. The float valve fills it right back to the same level and I just give it that same nutrients, 600 parts per million, and you know I don't see any deficiencies. So I'm not giving it like a crazy amount of, you know, nutrients. And you can see it's just really, you know, green, not, no, not showing any kind of signs of deficiencies. So I'm just going to keep it there, low, and low, low, low. And then as I start to see more and more flowering, I'm going to go ahead and flip it to where I'll be doing like five mils of the bloom, four mils of the micro, three mils of the grow, two mils of the, the cow mag. Keep you updated. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Out for now.